Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. So now I'm going to show you the latest project that we have developed. So it is called ETMS. So it is a reporting tool for their timekeeping software. We created a data warehousing database so we can generate the report more faster and more efficient. So this is the login screen. Okay, so this is the main screen. So as you can see, it is uh, based on one of the free bootstrap templates. So it's called Atlantis. So this is it. So maybe on our next video, I can show you on how to convert some free bootstrap templates into a ASP.NET MVC. So by the way, this project was developed in ASP.NET MVC and the backend is SQL Server 2012. Okay, so for the reporting tool, we use SSRS. So watch out, we will also create a new tutorial for those things. Okay. So for some JavaScript thing, so we use select to this JavaScript and also the whole JS. So maybe later on I can show you on which part I did it. So basically this system is very straightforward. So we have user management where the user can create new users and delete and modify the access control for each reporting uh, module. Okay, so here we have here the account settings so where from where we click and log out and change password. And the reports are here, so this is the TMS, full TMS, and access TMS. So mostly the filtering of the report is almost the same, so we can select the date range. So here is the thing that, that I use the select JS because this is a drop down control from where you can filter it in case so you type it will filter out the list that pops out. Okay. So same thing here, it is also select JS. So from the generate we can select from Adobe PDF, Excel or Word. So once we click Adobe PDF, so this is the hold on JS. So this uh, loading screen it is based on this hold on JS so maybe on our next video I can also show you how to use this tools or this JavaScript let's wait for a while while it's loading the report so basically this is a report template so as you can see it's five pages so as you can see there's a time in time out and also you can see the name of the employees and their card number the card number that they use okay so i also have your ship okay, so for where they can maintain the security information and security employees because the only the security employees have shifting schedules so from here they can monitor if the employee have an overtime or if, if it's their rest day and also they have this the import and export security information from where they create a csv files to list down the overtime and rest day of each of these employees so based on that it will calculate their overtime and also it will not tag them as absent if it's their rest day so basically this is it so maybe watch out for the next video so i can show you on how to use the select to and hold on js and also how to convert some free bootstrap templates into a asp.net mbc template so that's it for this video and thank you for watching don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and videos. And thank you for our 3,494 subscribers. So hopefully within this week we can reach 
3,500. Thanks again. Bye.